Ooh, what am I trying to say with this? I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't know what I'm saying there. Ah! Okay. My name is Dominique Girl, and I'm competing for Miss New Mexico USA 2021, and I'm so proud to represent my hometown of Santa Fe. To me, pageantry is such a unique and incredible platform to really not only have impact locally, but at a bigger scale and that nationwide. And for me, pageantry is the only place in the world where so many of my passions and skill sets can all come together and exist at the same time. So that's intellect, academia, uh, commitment, discipline, beauty and poise and elegance, as well as sisterhood. And no other place in the world allows for that to happen. And it's just amazing that so many women are competing for this title and bringing their best foot forward and the best versions of themselves. And, I mean, who wouldn't want to be around all those women? <laughs> I've been blessed and privileged to work for a wonderful tech, tech company, which is Google and YouTube, and learned what I've learned from that job, and able to take those learnings and that skill set, and now bring it back to my home community and my, my hometown and, and my home state, and just share what I've learned. And I think it just means so much more now. And I've done that in other states, in the places that I've lived, like Detroit, New York, Miami, LA, but now coming back home, it just means so much more and something that I really care about. And what better way to uplift the community and to make real impact than to teach people skills. Um, and when you teach people skills, they last a lifetime. And that's what I can do for our community here and the community at large and, and nationwide as well. So I am a daughter of immigrants. My dad is from Germany and my mom is from Mexico. And I'm also a first generation, first to go to college in my family. And I think because of that, I'm uniquely positioned to be able to relate to many different people. Um, I can understand the stories of, of where people come from, uh, the struggle, the hustle, all of that. And really be a, a, a leaning ear to listen and to relate and to have empathy. And I think being really confident in my biracial identity, which is really tough, it's hard. It's hard to be biracial. You know, you never feel like you're enough of one or the other. But if you just have the confidence to own that middle ground, I think that's uh, a pillar of strength and a way that I can uh, inspire people here locally and nationwide. I mean, New Mexico is made up of some of the most mixed and beautiful multi-race people, I think, in, in, in the nation. And it's complex, it's complicated. And I think to, to be someone who represents that and the ambassador of the state, to understand that, to understand our unique history, to understand the pain and, I mean, it's a dark past that we have as a state. And someone who understands that and who can connect and relate and listen and being open to learning too is, uh, I think, what the state needs. And I think I can be that girl. My father's a chef and food has always been a very central part of our family and a way that we come together and connect and that's how I connect with others too. I think there's no more wonderful feeling than gathering around a table and, and sharing food with friends or with new faces or with loved ones and family. And I love new culinary experiences because of that and just experiencing a new restaurant, a new place, a new country, a new street food. That's I think such a pivotal way to connect with a different culture and there's no more pure form of connection than what food allows to create. Like, that's what it does. It creates connection. I'm a foodie. <laughs> Love me some food. <laughs> My message I like to leave everybody is around courage. Um, there's a Malcolm Gladwell quote that I love that says, courage is not, ooh, courage is what you earn when you go through the tough times and you realize that they weren't so tough after all. And so go and do the courageous things, go do the scary things, go build your courage to get you through those tough times because you're going to make it through.